Hello Virgo, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is gonna be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you. What are the hidden factors that you need to know? What are their intentions or next actions going to be? All of that will be in this reading. So let's jump in for Virgo. Let's see, for Virgo spirits, and just guys. Messages, guidance please for Virgo regarding love. What is their person thinking about Virgo spirit? The person that Virgo is dealing with, what are their energies towards Virgo? What are their energies towards Virgo? What are their energies, thoughts, feelings towards Virgo? I am not available. I left you before you could leave me. I'm not available. So this person has someone else or they're just not open to a connection with you. What else? What else can you tell me about this person? Tell me about Virgo's person. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's person. All of the decks that I use are left are linked in the description box. I'm so sorry, Virgo. I can't talk today. I have a choice to make. Mm, because you're with someone else. Or you have something else going on here. Bottom of the deck, we need to talk. Yes, please tell us what's going on. <laughs> okay. What else? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Virgo is dealing with. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? The whale. Okay, so I, f I heard buried deep, which I usually don't get with this card. This card's like someone that has learned their lessons over time now they're very wise mature and have a lot of depth to them but when i what i heard with this card was buried deep so feelings buried deep or something that maybe you're not aware of virgo we'll see bottom of the deck we have the shark which is a card all about tension something that needs to be addressed needs to be discussed the elephant in the room what else for Virgo? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is or will be dealing with? Everything reminds me of you. Okay, so which is it? You're not available, but then you can't stop thinking about Virgo? What's going on? Bottom of the deck, I don't have the courage to face you. OMG. Virgo. So I think this is going to be one of those reasons or one of those, re I can't even talk today. One of those readings that is very specific. Um, I feel like this is somebody who obviously there something happened between you and this person. And now there's a divide between you because this person is being reminded of you, which means you, they don't really have access to you is what I'm getting. Um, so we'll see what this is all about. And I think there's a lot that has happened over time. Tell me more. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo spirit. What is this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Virgo? Let's see what we get for you, Virgo. All right, so their energies, thoughts, feelings, Knight of Pentacles, reverse, the High Priestess, reverse. So yeah, something very deep, feelings very deep. I feel like this person, it's almost like they're um, either they're ignoring their intuition, what their inner voice is telling them, right? Or there's some sort of reveal here that would need to happen. What are their actions and intentions going to be? Five of Cups reverse, Five of Swords reverse. So this person wants to overcome conflict, um, resolve a problem, overcome the past, resolve the past. Okay, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Justice reverse, Libra energy, the lovers reverse, yikes. Gemini energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy there. So this is, I feel it's going to be a very simple reading, although this Lovers Reverse and Justice Reverse, I, I, I just thought of like um, 
a separation, a breakup, or a situation where someone ignored their logic, ignored, um, like they weren't objective about a decision, like they, they made a stupid decision is basically what I'm getting at. Um, it could be an unfair separation. I'll have to look at that because I want to say it could be a divorce, but that's just way too specific. So we'll see if that comes up. Let's get some insight here. Everything reminds me of you. I left you before you could leave me. I have a choice to make. I feel like there's a connection here that I'm missing. Maybe this is the choice they have to make here. There's, there's a choice they have to make because I feel their emotions are speaking to them or they're, they're emotionally they're still invested. Everything reminds me of you. I'm still thinking about Virgo, right? Okay, so let's get back down here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse with the High Priestess reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles reverse with the High Priestess reverse. about the knight of pentacles reverse with the high priestess reverse well the knight of pentacles reverse takes forever justice um they're delayed slow down there are obstacles but for me as a reader the knight of pentacles still makes it to their destination eventually justice showed up again and then the queen of pentacles tell me about the knight of pentacles reverse with the high priestess reverse the devil six of cups okay eight of swords at the bottom of the deck okay so this is this is going to be one of those readings um okay so the devil capricorn energy with the eight of swords very similar energy here someone's stuck i feel like this could be a karmic situation because i have also the six of cups um so like um a situation from the past that is still an attachment attachment to the past attachment to a soulmate a twin flame some sort of karmic partner etc. I feel like this has to do with a marriage. I feel like one of you could be married or in a long-term commitment. I feel like someone thought this was a good idea at the time. What's behind that? The magician and the five pentacles. Okay. Someone thought this was a good idea at the time is what I'm getting here. And now they're stuck. But I feel this person is not telling someone their true desires. I feel like this is someone who things look good on the outside, but inside is not good. There's very stuck energy here, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is you and them, but this is coming, this is their feelings, their energies, their intentions towards you. This is a, a reading about them. And I feel like they made a mistake here. I feel like this is someone that is literally chained to their past. So let's see what else we got here. Now, in their intentions and actions, they want to resolve this. They want to overcome the past. I think the moon just wanted to come out. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse with the Five of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse with the Five of Swords reverse. Three of Wands. I have a choice to make. I feel like this person, this is going to be one of those readings where they're in a situation that they know they shouldn't be in or that has taken its toll. They know they have to make a decision about this situation. And while they're making this decision, they can't help but think of you. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse and the Five of Swords reverse. The Chariot. Yeah. This person wants to move on. Cancer energy. They want to move forward. They want to see what else is out there. They want to see what the future holds here. I feel like they want to be single, free. Yeah. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is somebody that's almost like seeing what other people have and wanting it. Um, maybe this is somebody that's hoping for an opportunity. They're motivated by love, which is weird because I think this is someone who they already made a mistake in the past, but it's almost like Maybe the mistake they made was not because of love. 
Maybe they made a mistake because it, it was the logical thing to do or the right thing to do or they thought at the time that was the best thing to do. And now I feel like they want to make a different type of choice. Tell me about justice reverse and the lovers reverse. This is what you need to know. Hidden factors. Tell me about justice reverse and the lovers reverse. Six of pentacles. Tell me about justice reverse and the lovers reverse. The empress. Wow. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So the Six of Pentacles, Temperance, this is about balance, harmony, resolving a problem. There's the lovers, Gemini energy. So we got justice and the lovers that came out. Now, whenever I see the lovers and temperance together, I think of like divine timing. I think of harmony between two people, people that just get each other. Wow, and judgment. Look at this energy. This is crazy energy with the sun. This is somebody that I feel wants to balance a situation that is already unbalanced. Can I get one more, please, for temperance? Tell me about temperance. And I feel like this is going to take time. This is going to be one of those situations that takes time because the Knight of Pentacles is reverse. Knight of Swords, tell me more about temperance. Communication, truth. The moon, I knew the moon wanted to come out. I feel like you don't know how this person feels, Virgo. Pisces energy with the moon. And I feel like this person is thinking in the right time, I'm gonna reveal this. Because I have the High Priestess reverse. I have the three of wands. So it's almost like someone's waiting for the right time. I have a choice to make. I feel like this choice is to resolve the problem they got themselves into in the first place. And for some reason, even though it didn't involve you at first, it involves you now. I hope that makes sense, Virgo. Because I definitely feel like this is someone that they're thinking about you when they make this decision. It's almost like you are the reason they are finally doing this. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If you want to see more readings from me, if you enjoy the reading, um, I'd love to have you here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.